Chinese President Xi Jinping's recent visit to Hungary is indicative of China's strategic interests and growing influence in Europe. The relationship between the two countries has been strengthened through economic partnerships, notably under the leadership of Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban. Significant Chinese investment in Hungary such as the construction of electric vehicle and battery factories and initiatives like visa-free travel and new cargo flights are deepening ties between the two nations. Chinese President Xi Jinping's visit to Serbia coincides with the 25th anniversary of the NATO bombing of the Chinese embassy in Belgrade, a historically significant moment for Sino-Serbian relations. Serbia, under President Aleksandar Vucic, has expressed strong political support for China, and the two countries have been collaborating on infrastructure projects. These visits reflect China's strategic push to enhance its relationships within the EU and foster stronger economic and political ties with key partners in the face of evolving global dynamics. Hungary and Serbia have pursued closer ties with China through economic agreements and political cooperation. While these visits do not directly indicate intentions of Hungary to join BRICS, they signify deepening bilateral relations in economic and political areas. Joining BRICS would involve considerations beyond bilateral relations with China and require a broader alignment with the group's overall objectives and approval by its current members. Chinese President Xi Jinping's visit to Europe, including stops in France, Hungary and Serbia, comes at a critical time and could have significant implications for the upcoming European Union elections. Here's a comprehensive look at the potential impacts and the broader geopolitical context. 1. The upcoming EU elections are likely to see a significant shift towards the right, with populist parties gaining ground. This political landscape could become more complex with China's increasing influence in Central and Eastern Europe, particularly through economic initiatives like the Belt and Road Initiative. The growing relationship between China and countries like Hungary could reinforce nationalist and Eurosceptic sentiments, which are often more open to non-Western alliances. Two. Xi's visit could influence EU economic and trade policies, especially given the ongoing tensions between the EU and China over trade issues and the security of investments. The EU's response to China's economic practices, such as the push for screening foreign investments and concerns over technology transfers, could become a significant election issue, as parties may differ on how to handle relations with China. 3. In France, where Xi will also visit, the interaction could impact how French leaders are viewed in terms of foreign policy. French President Emmanuel Macron's approach to China, especially in securing business deals and managing diplomatic relations, could be scrutinized in the context of election campaigns. How France manages its relationship with China could influence voter perceptions of Macron's administration, particularly regarding economic independence and national security. 4. The strengthening ties between certain EU member states and China might challenge the unity within the EU, especially on policies related to China. Countries like Hungary and Serbia enhancing their relations with China could lead to diverging interests within the EU, potentially affecting collective decisions on foreign policy, trade agreements, and security measures. Before we continue, we'd love to hear your thoughts on EU-China confrontation in the years to come. Please don't forget to like this video if you find it useful. Your support means a lot to us and keeps us motivated. Thanks for your ongoing encouragement. The shifting power dynamics within the European Union are indeed being influenced by external factors, including visits by leaders such as Chinese President Xi Jinping. These visits are significant as they can strengthen ties between the EU and China, potentially affecting the internal balance of power within the EU itself. 1. Xi's recent engagements in Europe, particularly with countries like France and Hungary, highlight a strategic deepening of relations which could be crucial ahead of the EU elections. Such visits underscore China's interest in shaping its alliances and economic partnerships within Europe, which may affect Europe's internal cohesion and alignment on foreign policy issues. The attention given to these visits in media and policy circles reflects the substantial impact they are likely to have on regional and global politics equal sign. 2. The balance of power within the EU has been shifting, with increasing influence from southern and eastern countries within the bloc. This shift could lead to internal conflicts and test the unity of the EU as the different member states navigate their foreign relations and domestic priorities. These dynamics are crucial as they determine how the EU manages its external relations and maintains its internal cohesion. 3. In response to the evolving geopolitical landscape, 
the EU is taking significant steps to assert its economic security. This includes plans to reform its foreign direct investment screening regime and enhance coordination on export controls. These measures are partly in response to the economic strategies of major players like China and the U.S., aiming to protect Europe's economic interests while navigating complex international relations. Overall, Xi Jinping's visits and the broader international interactions are playing a role in shaping the political landscape within the EU, influencing upcoming elections and potentially altering how Europe positions itself on the global stage. The outcome of these shifts will be crucial for the future direction of EU policies and its role in global affairs. The European Union likely viewed Chinese President Xi Jinping's visit as an opportunity to address multiple strategic and economic objectives. The long-term outcomes expected from the visit might include 1. The EU would be looking to balance its economic relations with China, possibly seeking more equitable trade terms and greater access to Chinese markets for European companies. Strengthening economic ties could also involve discussions around investment treaties that are beneficial to both parties. 2. Given the geopolitical landscape, the EU would expect to engage China on critical issues such as the situation in Ukraine, tensions in the South China Sea, and other regional conflicts where China plays a significant role. The EU's objective would be to promote stability and a rules-based international order. 3. With the urgent need for global action on climate change, the EU would hope to advance cooperation with China on environmental issues, including emissions reductions, renewable energy projects, and sustainable development initiatives. 4. The EU might also aim to use the visit as a platform to address human rights concerns, particularly relating to China's policies in Xinjiang, Hong Kong, and other areas. Although such discussions are sensitive, they remain a significant aspect of the EU's agenda with China. 5. Discussions could also focus on cooperation in high-tech sectors, including artificial intelligence and 5G technology, where both regions have significant interests. The EU would be keen on setting frameworks that safeguard its security and economic interests. Overall, the EU would expect this visit to help in fostering a more balanced and reciprocal relationship with China, addressing both opportunities for cooperation and areas of concern, thereby contributing to global stability and prosperity. Chinese President Xi Jinping's visit to Europe is unlikely to directly change the ties between Russia and China. The relationship between Russia and China has been characterized by a strategic partnership, particularly in recent years, with both countries positioning themselves in opposition to what they view as Western hegemony. Here are a few considerations regarding how Xi's visit to Europe might impact Russian-Chinese relations. 1. Even though the visit is focused on strengthening China's relations with European countries, it does not necessarily imply a shift in China's strategic alignment with Russia. China and Russia share common interests in many global and regional issues, and their partnership is reinforced by mutual benefits in energy, military, and economic sectors. 2. China is likely to continue its balancing act between maintaining strong ties with Russia and engaging constructively with the European Union. While China has its no-limits friendship with Russia, it also seeks to avoid alienating the EU, which is an important trading partner. 3. The dynamics of Xi's visit may indirectly affect the broader geopolitical landscape, including China's position relative to Russia. If the visit leads to deeper economic ties or political cooperation between China and the EU, it could influence how China manages its relationship with Russia, particularly in contexts where European and Russian interests conflict. 4. China values its strategic autonomy and tends to avoid taking sides in conflicts where it has significant stakes with both parties involved, such as the situation in Ukraine. Therefore, while the visit might strengthen China's ties with Europe, it is unlikely to result in a significant shift away from Russia unless the global political environment changes dramatically. In summary, while Xi's visit to Europe is significant for Sino-European relations, it is unlikely by itself to result in a change of ties between Russia and China. Both countries have established a robust partnership that serves their mutual interests across various domains.